In this tutorial, we'll deal with keyframes. Keyframes represent an object's property value at a given time. I've already created a small scene where a boy throws a ball up in the air and catches it. Every dot on the timeline is a keyframe. You can see that around 2 seconds, two keyframes that represent the ball's left and top property have been added. The longer the distance between two keyframes is, the slower the animation is going to be. Keyframes can easily be moved on the timeline. Just select one or more keyframes and move them to the desired time location. We will move the keyframes a bit closer together so that our ball animation will move a bit faster. By default, all transitions between two keyframes is linear. This means that the speed will not change. We will now apply a different function to our ball item transition and its top property to create more natural movements. Right click on the green line between the two keyframes that have been added to the timeline to lift the ball upwards, then choose timing functions. From the upcoming list, choose Ease Out. Our ball animation will now slow down at the end of the animation, exactly as it would in real life. Choose the Ease In option when you animate the ball while it is falling down. This means that our ball will gain speed when it falls. Take a look at our preview now to find a more natural animation.